flags. Um, we can start with the name and we only recently that in the East, well, even though we've been there for two years, they've just included the program in your site, so um, the people actually learn about the program as well. So how is it incredible? Because you're essentially a private entity within the in East Community Health Centre fleet. Um, we've got the two sites, so we've Richmond and Hawthorne. And patients basically ring the number that's on the booking site, um, <coughs> and they can book into either Richmond or or Hawthorne. And that's uh, Chris in the uh, so web the two names are Chris and Chris. Um, we basically pay for the service amount to date. Um, each day doesn't really matter how many clients we see, and probably about half the day of it will have to be volunteer. Um, and that what we're being paid is actually uh, as the um, as the premium for it. So it's sort of we're not for profit, so we're just trying to maintain our costs and we pay our staff a bit. Mm -hmm. um, the patients basically arrive at general reception, so we've got used to that, and we to talk to them and then um, we've got a pretty nice place to, to sit and to be and the reception wants to let us know when they're there. Um, and then the rooms we have is like a, a physio room, so we've got the two beds there. Um, it's not very private, we've got basically a curtain and then one big room, so the consultation is done in that space as well. We sort of get 10 minutes to talk to the person, talk them, get them in when they have treatment, close the curtain, put them to go on, go get the next patient, have their consultation, same thing, needle room, close the curtain. Um, get the next, get that person who's lying down up and take the pain and, and rebook and then the next patient comes in. So it's quite hectic to keep it going. I guess it's a little bit challenging as well to keep um, maintaining the privacy of the patients because they have full treatment as well. So it's like, um, like on the back and everything. Um, but we've, we've always maintained that they'll never see the other the patients because we're, we're quite careful about that. Uh, the fee structure that we have is based on um, the honesty system. So then it's on the initial consultation we do um, the final income declaration. And so we have uh, prices for acupuncture concessions $25 in initial, $20 for appearance. Uh, their needle income is $50 initial, $40 for appearance. And for high, it's $70, $75 initial. And $50 um, And that allows basically to grow your yeah, full capacity. So we see probably about 7 to 11 patients per day at each of the clinics. I think we've recently done some studies on our actual um, database. So we've found that uh, most of our patients, uh, most of female, most of between 31 to 40 or over 60. And mostly low income, um, and the majority are coming for chronic pain. So that also allows them to come for extended amount of time, and often they'll want to start with that they'll actually continue on because it's such a low cost. So we address other needs as well. So Prickle, um, that's sort of the practicing side of Prickle. We've also had to set up a fairly formal side for people who came there and not just like that entity. This allows us to uh, apply for funding as well. Um, so the advantage of being a not-for-profit organisation is that you can promote to community health services, uh, make the story big enough about a community paper, get a pretty good tax return, um, we've got access to venues like the East, and it mostly allows us to access lots of community services and as another service provider and other services. Um, as a corporation, they have to have a very formal structure. So we have a board of directors, we may have sort of eight different people with very different um, skills to contribute. And we have to have formal meetings, so we might have to meet about four times a year. And we have to discuss our income budgets um, in the future direction. And we have to do an annual report available to the public. 
survey and DCD, and then we're just doing a search box survey as well for different groups in uh, terms of what you can use in the system. So that's been really good to get that. Um, Um, what we did find through that survey is that there's um, there, there was a case for it. For it. There was a strong message sent, really from GPs that um, they don't really know the benefits of acupuncture, and so for us to create a whole system where we're getting a lot of referrals, we have to create a lot of information for the GPs so they can actually know why they were. All of them are for chronic fatigue, all of them are for chronic pain from the ones that we surveyed, but um, they do vary in the amount of that water. So, with the completion of the um, crunch program, which will be early next year, I need to open a full time multi-bed clinic so we can have the space for the whole week and increase the beds as well. Um, and to ensure there's success and integration with the community health service. We'll be producing some good, probably open source information for the clinic, uh, written for people assessing acupuncture um, in the medical clinic, and also we'll produce information for the that GP, allied health, drug and alcohol counseling clients. So I to start that in about February next year, and looking to open the clinic in June. And if anyone wants to be involved, which could be meaning our practitioners as well, you can um, contact either Christine or myself, and we'll be in touch with you for the next. Or if you want to see how we work currently in the um, site for Richmond or Auckland, you're very welcome to come along and see what's going on. Anyone have any questions? I love the fact that you've come along and there's been two job offers already. <laughs> <laughs> How do you decide how much to charge your thing you're happy, 25 or 50? Yeah, so they fill out a form at the start saying, like you say, and then up to a certain amount. And if it's in that bracket, then they'll pay basically money for the service. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So I think that's an excellent model to work with. It's also something that we can learn. I think in our profession as solar practitioners, it's something we can do better. So the fact that we're doing that, we're not doing it for the movement. So I'm going to be making Helen Burke.